Hey everyone, this is Professor Gull here, and uh, Cat. Today, we're gonna save the Saturn. So, story behind the Saturn. I got it. The, uh, this guy was gonna toss it, and it was in a box full of uh, Saturn games. There was no other hookups, so there's no way to test it. And he was just like, I'm gonna throw this away. But as soon as I showed interest, he was like, hey, give me some money for all this, and uh, it's all yours. So I plopped down some cash, grabbed the box, and uh, I ended up with this Saturn here that, well, you'll see here. Hopefully you'll see here. Well, it's a Saturn. It starts. Luckily I had the cords to hook it up and power it up. Disc spins, so it's not a spindle problem. Thought it might have been the door latch. Yeah, that'd be fairly easy to fix too. But uh, and you see, I got the Albert Odyssey disc in there. And oh, you shouldn't come to that screen. It should just load. That's not a good sign. So we're gonna say dead laser. That's a sad thing. We can all cry now. But you know what? It's fixable. So let's fix it. That's what I say. Let's fix it. So, I took the screws out of the bottom of the Saturn and uh, got to starting to figure out what it was. I swapped a laser with another one of my Saturns and found out that, that was definitely it. So I ordered a, la a laser and I'll show you here quickly how to replace it, hopefully. So first things first, yeah, there's five screws in the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. Take those out, and uh, the top should just come right off. You can see your laser assembly right there in the middle. What a perfect place to put that. And there's only a couple things hooking it up. There's a cord over here, so we'll take that out. All right. And then there's a ribbon cable, uh, which is also where some of the uh, boards used to go for modding. So just in case you curious. And then the whole assembly should just pop right out. But there's a screw that holds a little ribbon that holds the assembly in place. I know. It's funny because it's actually the pressure at the top that holds this whole piece down. So there you go. One laser assembly. Put that away. Now, if you look at the laser assembly, it doesn't look all that impressive. But there's a little plastic piece. You can see the laser right there. There's the spindle. You gotta take that plastic piece off of there. And that's that cover. It's just it's just a couple of clips on each side. One right there. That's kind of hard to see, but right there. You just want to push in with either your finger or a screwdriver. I got big meaty fingers, so <laughs> I'm gonna try to use a screwdriver. Pop that out of there. Come on, work, darn it. Alright. I'll try my finger again. See, big meaty finger. Oh, I got it. Alright, and then just lean it back like that, and you pull that right off of there. Exciting! Now we're getting to the point where we can actually work on that laser. So let's do that. There isn't a whole lot that's holding it in. You got this one guide pin. And there's another ribbon cable. To get the guide pin out, there's a little pressure switch right there. Just want to push down on that a little bit. Take a screwdriver from the other side. Push on that. You should push the guide pin clip holder for the guide pin down and it'll start to slide and move. You just grab it, slide it right out of there. Now 
don't lose any of these parts. You'll need them later. All right. So now the thing, the only other thing that's holding that in there, is this little ribbon cable right there. Now this is a locking ribbon cable. For those of you who use PCs, you know what those are. So you gotta be careful with those. So we're gonna just take that, pull gently on either side of the locking mechanism. You'll see it. Just ever so gently, because you don't want to break this ribbon cable. This ribbon cable, oh god, you'd be in trouble. There you go. Laser assembly. That one's totally gone. We'll put that piece aside, because we don't need that right now. Although we will shortly. So, got a new laser assembly, but this is the old one I took out. It's upside down. You can see the little guide hole for the pin. And the idea is... There's a little spot in the corner here that you don't really see. When you get the new laser, it's covered with solder. So that's the old laser. No solder. New laser. And there's solder in the corner. So, right there. We gotta take that out of there. Right there. So make sure you get your soldering iron hot. And for those of you who are nervous of soldering, uh, trust me, I'm terrible at it. I'll make sure not to get these mixed up that over there. It, it really doesn't take much. See? Soldering iron. And we're just going to gently touch it to that corner. And there you go. Just pull the solder off. That's it. Alright. I'm just going to just double check here. Look, that piece of solder's gone. Don't need my soldering iron anymore. I'm going to unplug that before I set one of my cats on fire. So, uh, I'm going to set this down for a second. And, uh, I'll get back to putting this new laser in. Just, I hope I don't forget which one's which. But, uh, yeah, we'll get this one in here. Yeah, don't forget there's a locking thing on this, too. So, uh, I'm going to make sure to remember to pull that up before I put the ribbon cable in. But if you don't remove that piece of solder, your laser will not work. Your brand new one. I bought that one off of eBay, so I know there's other places you could buy them. You could buy them from AliExpress and stuff too. Um, there's a guide here that fits into the side on the uh, carriaging, and you got to make sure that that guide lines up when you hook it back up. But, hold on, let me turn off my soldering iron. I, I feel weird. I don't want to burn a cat up, and it's the last thing anybody needs to see in a video. <laughs> so there we go let's get this new laser in there alright so I pulled out the lock right there see make sure you pull that out and hold it out if you need to because it'll want to slide back in make sure it's unlocked and let's get that ribbon cable attached So ever so gently, put the ribbon cable back in, and we'll get it locked back in. Gentle push, make sure it's all in there. Give it a gentle tug to make sure. Okay. Secure. And we'll just put the laser back in where the notch is on the other side. We'll line it up. And all we gotta do is put the pin back. All right. See there? A little bit of a notch. And I just need to go along the other side to make it glide properly. Now at this point, you also want to probably check the gears to make sure you don't have any bad gears. Um, but I didn't have any with this one. If you need to, add extra grease as well. And what I mean by grease is I don't mean go grab Vaseline. That's wrong. You guys know what you should use. Dielectric grease, you know, something. And don't WD-40 it. That's, that's just crazy. With electronics. Alright, so let's put this pin back. So kind of the reverse method of what I did before. There's that little pressure piece. 
There's a hole in the bottom of the laser assembly to guide the pin through. Okay. Just kind of give it a gentle push. And we're going to get it working. There's a screwdriver here to just tap it in. Well, I guess I could use my finger to pull it. Probably make more sense. Alright. And that's it. Turn the wheels, make sure it goes. There you go. New laser in. Looks good. Let's put it all back together. Put the cover back on. Just going to just lean the clip in. Those, those are L shaped brackets on that far side. Snap it in. Ta -da! Now at this point, you should be feeling really good about yourself if you're doing this yourself. Because you know what? It's much easier than it looks. And that little cover is kind of a pain, but it's the only thing you need to move. Okay, mind you, I'm going to throw this old laser away. I don't need it. But if you do have a Sanyo machine. You can't use this laser assembly. You have to get something totally different. Uh, I don't have a Sanyo unit. Uh, luckily this wasn't one of those. So with that said get rid of that old laser. Make sure you check the teeth on the uh, guide. If you do buy just the laser itself uh, you can just replace the laser rather than the laser and glide itself. But Everything else was working on this, so let's put it back in the case here. It'll just sit on those four pins in the bottom there. Make sure you pull out your guide. Make sure it sits in there correctly. Okay, so you got that one power connector right there that back up. Ribbon cable. Make sure you do push hard enough to get that reconnected. This ribbon cable, yeah, it's got a little... don't have much room to it. But you can slide it in and make sure it uh, connects properly. It can be kind of tricky. Like I said, this is the ribbon cable that uh, when you do get a mod chip uh, it's the one you interrupt. Uh, there's usually a board that goes in between the two. That helps you run <clears throat> backups of your games. <clears throat> we'll put that cable back in. So obviously this is not a modded Saturn. Just saying. And that's kind of annoying. Come on, work. Come on. Alright, got it. Feel secure. Just double checking. And remember that little screw thing I took out earlier? Yeah, we're going to put that back too. That tiny little screw. Terrific. Those are the kind of ones that you lose down inside the unit when you just screw up. And... And although I may not have mentioned it, tools you need for this Phillips. Uh, I use my small electronics kit. Uh, you'll need a soldering iron and maybe some some grease. Um, you know, it's not necessary if it's well lubricated anyway, and as long as you're not trying to wipe down all the parts. That's it. Goodbye, old failed laser. Now, I also wanted to show you guys this. On the back, there's this little orange piece. That's called the laser adjustment for intensity. You take a screwdriver and you can adjust it left or right. Uh, so just in case that your Saturn isn't reading, you can turn up the laser or turn it down and test it again. Uh, sometimes that is a problem. Um, but in this case, I had adjusted 
the old one as far as I could get it and nothing. So I set the adjustment for the new one right in the middle where it should be. Uh, there's like an arrow on it, so straight up and down, that's about medium. So, and that's how I had the one adjusted that's in there now. So, just in case you guys were curious about how to adjust your laser intensity, that's what you need to do. You need to get it modded. Well. Then you need to adjust the laser intensity anyway. But this is good to go. Let's go. Put it back together. So we got it back together. I'm going to test the cartridge slot too. I didn't do that earlier. There you go. That powers up. Cartridge slot works. I put in a new battery. So let's try Albert Odyssey again. Checking disc format. Start application. Remember the last time it just sat there. Loading. Oh, what is it? Working designs, beautiful. So we've saved the Saturn. And that is Saturn laser replacement. The Saturn's ready to go back to working condition. This is Professor Gonlaw. Thanks for watching. 